Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Part 107. It's the Unmanned Aircraft General Exam for the FAA. I want to talk about why I did it and uh, how I studied for it. And I just want to give you my experience with it. So I've never... I've never owned a drone before this one here, so I'm not, I don't know much about drones other than I had a friend of mine, he had this DJI Mavic 3 Classic for sale. He brought it over and I I played around with some cheaper toy drones, um, but this is my first nice drone I've flown. And right away, I fell in love with this. So if you're someone that's like me, Pretty much anything outdoors i don't care what it is outdoors i love it so these drones are pretty pricey and uh, i've had other friends saying oh don't waste your money on a drone i barely fly mine uh well i bought it and i absolutely love it most of the time i'm going to fly is going to be recreational i probably didn't need a part 107 but you never know if you have a job opportunity um, comes across. So, and also my job. So my work, we have a drone program and which we would need the part 107 for me to be able to fly it for work. We ended up doing a pilot institute. The instructor's name is Greg. Not gonna try to uh, pronounce his last name. I'm sure I'll butcher his last name. A, I studied probably 20, at least 25 hours studying the course. Through the course, after every section, there's quizzes. Now, there are some quizzes. I was getting in the 70s on the test scores. I was missing some answers. I did not go through. I did not go through and watch all the videos again. I just kind of re retook the quiz until I understood what, what I missed and why I missed it. I hate taking tests, so I wanted to make sure I'm prepared, especially spending the money. I think it was like $175 to pay for this exam. So I wanted to make sure I'm going to pass it my first try. So I took a total of three practice exams at the end. I got a 90, then a 91.6, and a 91.6 on the practice practice exams. Um, my other friends who have the Part 107 said, you're, you're going to pass no problem. So to pass the Part 107, you have to have a minimum of uh, a 70%. So on March 24th, I scheduled the exam. That, something else too, Greg with the Pilot Institute, um, he explains everything. He explains every website, how you have to get your FAA tracking number, how to log in. Honestly, without the, the, the course, I, I wouldn't even, uh, it would have been more of a struggle to try to figure that out on even how to get your Part 107. There's the... Tell you what, the FAA they make it they make it a little bit challenging to do it. I'm not being um, sponsored by this pilot institute. This is just our program that our work went with, and um, and I have no knowledge at all with anything with aircraft. So some of it was interesting to learn about, and there's also I'm watching these videos. I'm thinking why are we learning this but you have to do it for the test and i they are trick questions me personally i couldn't go to youtube and sit there and watch all the all these other videos of the part 107 i could have passed the unmanned aircraft exam i'm, I'm glad i did it i love this dji mavic I, it's i'm actually really upset the it's raining and windy and nasty out because um, I really actually just, I enjoy flying the drone. So if you're looking at getting your part 107, I just want to tell you my experience with that, uh, with the Pilot Institute course. Um, let's see, what else? Um, so the day of the exam, there was actually a, another guy with me. There was uh, three computers, little cubicle cubicles next to you you could put on uh, headphones to like knock out the noise I can tell like taking the test I, I was definitely over I was prepared and I was moving through pretty quickly on the test but the guy next to me I can tell he was he was struggling he was constantly staring at the book 
that they give you looking at the maps and he wasn't moving along as quickly as I was. So it, it appeared that he was struggling. I did bring a magnifying glass, never used it. I was able to, I was able to see, uh, find the, on the charts, I was able to find everything without using a magnifying glass. Uh, but if you do have trouble, uh, seeing small print, definitely bring a, bring a magnifying glass. Um, they provided pencils and paper. I actually did use the pencil and paper. Did not need a calculator. Um, there was a couple simple math equations just to separate, like to learn, to do the math from mean sea level and above ground level. That's uh, That was a couple questions. Other than that, uh, that's it. That's all I can uh, think of right now. But like I said, 20, I'd say 25 hours of study time to, if you're going to go take your part 107, they definitely try to trick you up, but Pilot Institute program will have you definitely prepared and ready for it. So, all right, I'll see you outside.